We're all used to seeing our favorite actors all glammed up depending on their roles, but some of them are complete opposites in real life. Actress Cha Tzu Young recently amazed us with her role as Hye Jung in The Glory. In the drama, we get to see her slay different kinds of outfits, from her iconic white dress, this preppy black and white formal attire that she wore during Yeon Jin's wedding, to this satin button down matched with a laced undergarment. And if she's not wearing any of these outfits, she's out there looking fine with her stewardess uniform. So when someone shared a photo of Ju Young riding a motorbike, netizens were shocked to see the actress ride one in real life because she looked like a completely different person. In the photo posted, Ju Young was wearing a black helmet and riding a bike on the road. The netizen who shared the photo added a caption saying, I saw a woman riding a motorbike in front of me a while ago. She was so cool. Even though she was riding a motorbike, she obeyed all the traffic lights. I was moved as there aren't many bikers like that. The netizen then tagged Ju Young and added, her bag was so pretty that I took a picture of it. It turns out that she's a flight attendant hit dog. I love you. It's you, right? Ju Young then proved that the person in the photo was her by sharing the story on her profile, writing, Oops, we rarely see Korean actresses who love to ride motorbikes, and seeing Ju Young drive a bike makes her really unique. Han So Hee's fame skyrocketed when she appeared as Da Kyung in the world of the married, and we got to see her as someone sophisticated whose outfits are always on point. She then turned into a shy college student named Yoon Ah Bi and never the less, with outfits that every student can relate to. But in real life, is Sohi more of a Da Kyung or Nabi? Well, if you already follow Sohi on her Instagram, you'd already get a glimpse of what her off-screen look is. If she's not posting anything related to her work, like behind the scenes or photo shoots, Sohi loves to show her quirky and fun side, which everyone loves. In an Instagram post, Sohi uploaded a photo and a video clip and also added the caption, and I will never drink again. The photo shows several Jenga blocks stacked up on her back while laying on the floor. In the video shows a sleeping Solhi on the floor after drinking. A friend can also be seen approaching the actress and laying a jacket over her. Netizens reacted to the photo with shock and laughter. Many couldn't get over the fact that a well-known actress would get that drunk, and many more couldn't believe that she would actually post it. She may give off that cold aura on screen, but netizens are loving how Solhi isn't afraid to show her real self and love her much more for being so relatable. Another actor from the glory that shocked netizens off camera is is Jong Song Il. There's no doubt that he's probably the hottest Azu ah in Korea right now. But netizens fell even more into Song Il's charms when he did the first pitch during South Korean team's SSG Landers versus Hanwha Eagles game last April 7th. As Song Il threw the ball, the audience was amazed by how he effortlessly nailed his pitch like a pro. Plus, not to mention his charming smile right after. Not long after his performance, the clip of his pitch took over the internet, which even made baseball fans fall in love with the actor. But for Jong Song Il's longest fans, his recent pitch wasn't that new and shocking for them, as they're already aware that the actor is into baseball. He's even a part of the Crusaders, a popular K celeb baseball team. We've probably only seen him wear suits in the glory. But during this event, with him wearing the uniform, to his visuals, and down to his perfect sidearm pitch, everyone in the stadium and who've seen the clip can't help but fall in love with him. Okay, we have to admit that there's something about men riding a motorbike that makes them really attractive, and it's even 10 times better when Dee Tung Wook is the one writing it, right? He's been stealing hearts left to right with the various roles that he's played. We've seen him surf in Love Struck in the City, be a magician in The Sound of Magic, and the typical suit and tie he wears in most of his K-dramas. So it really hits differently knowing one of his real-life hobbies is riding and collecting motorbikes. Dee Tung Wook often posts about his love for motorbikes on his Instagram. He even shared a short clip of him riding his motorcycle while raining and added the caption, Rainy days are the best. Well, well, if those aren't enough, here are some photos from a photo shoot that he did with First Look magazine together with his vintage motorbike, of which there are only two in Korea. He might look unrecognizable once he wears his helmet, but Ji Tung Wook surely looks hot riding his motorcycle. We've seen actor Gim Soo Hyun wearing scrubs in the drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay and wore a beautiful humbuk in the moon embracing the sun. But have you seen him wear his actual uniform when he plays bowling? Well, if not, here you have it. Actually, bowling isn't just a simple hobby for Soo Hyun. He's already known in Korean entertainment for his bowling skills and has made quite a name for himself as a bowler. In fact, Soo Hyun attempted to become a professional bowler in 2016 together with FT Island's Lee Hong Ki. Despite failing to become a professional bowler, Soo Hyun proved how talented and dedicated he is to bowling. In an episode of the variety show Infinite Challenge, Soo Hyun showcased his bowling skills and also explained what got him into bowling. He stated, in other sports, you compete with others, but bowling is a fight with your 
himself. We are so used to seeing him all prim and proper in his dramas, but seeing him wear a casual fit topped with a snapback hat, who would have thought that he'll easily manage to get a strike? Jeon Yeo Bin played Hong Taeyong in Vincenzo, and we gotta admit that she looked better wearing those suits than any other man out there. Yes, she rocked those suits, but off duty, Yeo Bin prefers to keep it simple. Her essentials consist of a button down or a shirt, a pair of jeans and sneakers, and then she's all good to go. When this photo of Hyun Bin was released, netizens were confused and had to take a second to figure out if it was really him. In the photo, Hyun Bin grew out his beard for a film titled The Point Man, and it was actually taken during a behind the scenes photo of the actor together with his co stars that was shared online back in 2020. He looked different since netizens were so used to the usual clean cut image, just like his roles as Captain Lee Dong Hyuk in the drama Crash Landing on You. Remember actress Cho Hye Jong? She played the role of Jong Nan Hee, a weightlifter student, and if you're still not familiar with that, she is one of Kim Bok Ju's swag friends in the drama Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju. In fact, it was one of Hye Jong's last roles before she went inactive as an artist, so the last time Netizen saw her, she had that cute and chubby physique with her bubbly personality. Around December 2022, Netizens were shocked when Hye Jong shared a photo of herself with a whole body transformation. In the photo she shared, Hye Jong looked unrecognizable as she sported a straightforward preppy outfit that not only highlighted her good looks, but also her inherent beauty. Netizens couldn't get enough of Hye Jong's makeover and are also looking forward to seeing her future plans as an actress. Remember Lee Yi Kyung when he played the role of Lee Jung Ki in both seasons of Welcome to Waikiki? Well, it's definitely hard to miss his character. He made us all laugh with every single episode that he's in. Through the drama, we've seen his comedic side and has worn different types of outfits. And we're not talking about any regular outfits because he perfectly transformed into Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad from head to toe. He also showed off his flexibility dressed up as a blonde ninja, a warrior, a general, and he even attached faux fur to his skin and dressed up as a human wolf. He surely has done it all in just one drama. We're all so used to seeing him with his comedic side that once he steps on stage and joins the musical, it's difficult to tell that it's the same person that we saw in the drama. Lee Yi Kyung was part of the musical adaptation of Crash Landing on You. He plays the role of Gu Sung Joon, who was played by Kim Jong Hyun in the drama. Aside from that, Lee Yi Kyung also loves to share his day-to-day -day life through his Instagram account. He usually uploads gym photos, selfies, and a glimpse of him working out. Check out this video of him doing a Romanian deadlift and look at that form. All his workouts paid off as he became the cover of Men's Health magazine and rocked those sculptured abs. Looking at this cover, who would have thought that this guy is the same one as the one who wore various costumes in a drama? We often see Lee Min Ho as a kingly figure in Korean dramas with all those suits and ties that he's worn, those perfectly coordinated outfits, to his Prince Charming outfit with a white horse to match it. But off screen, Lee Min Ho's outfits are in fact very relatable and chill. Although he likes to keep it simple, that doesn't mean that he looks basic. In these photos that he shared on his Instagram account, it's obvious what his go-to outfit is. A pair of shorts and a t-shirt or sweatshirt and he's good to go. It's hard to look good with a basic fit, but if you're Lee Min Ho, anything will definitely look good on you. What are your thoughts on how these actors look off screen and on screen? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.